Hello everyone. Good morning. It's me, Persilin. Hello, Mercury. Wonderful to see you. Happy Tuesday. I hope that you've all had a wonderful, a wonderful weekend. Um, I am very, very excited to be getting back into Harvestella this morning. Um, it is lovely to see all of you. We have the uh, the peach tea that won the poll over on Twitter. This is um, this is my second to last bag of peach tea. We are almost out of it. So once once it's gone, I will have to find a new blend to add into the lineup. Um, it's been a very, very tasty tea and a very, very popular tea. I think it's won more polls than almost any other blend that we've had. Um, so yeah, I think without further ado, we're going to get swapped over to the game screen real quick. Um, if audio needs adjusting at all, please let me know. Um, I think it should be okay, but um, there was a little bit of tweaking from the Monster Hunter stream over the weekend, so we'll see if anything needs to be adjusted at all. And um, last time we kind of really got into it with like some pretty intense story stuff happening. Uh, Arya getting kidnapped. Us learning that the omens basically control all of the monolite. Um, which is probably fine. Definitely not any cause for concern there. Um... Good morning, Mercury. I am doing very, very well. Hope you are as well. Now let's check our mail. I'll just have to do what I can. Sorry for getting you all wrapped up in my family drama. Learning about my dad's past really got me riled up, so from now on, I'm just going to look after the lighthouse on my own. And first up is finishing those repairs, although I'm not sure if I'll even manage that. Well, all I can do is my best, eh? Feel free to stop by and see things how, to see how things are going, although I'm not sure how much we'll get to chat. I have been given a day off. The bartender has allowed me to take the day off. He told me to use it, use it doing what I want to do, and I want to talk to you, Purcellin. We always talk about serious things, but maybe this time will be different. I will wait for you by the beach. Amo. Oh, also ad starting in about a minute. Castle Lewis News. Kingdom Brigade battles omens. Greetings, citizens. As many of you may have seen, a few days ago, a unit of Omen airships besieged Castle Lewis. Citizens may rest assured that the Kingdom Brigade maintains its position of strength in this battle. The Monolite's divine protection will ensure our victory, so please rest assured. Castle Lewis is now in a state of high alert and must not be approached under any circumstances. There is no immediate threat to life unless close contact is made. Castle Lewis Intelligence Division. Okay, so we've got some new substory from Amo. Oh, good lord, we have a lot of stuff in our inventory. That's a shipping box. Okay, we've got stuff to ship. That can go. That can go. There's a bunch of crafting stuff. I don't know if we have enough time to grow these. These all can go on storage. These can stay. Um, let's see. That can go in storage. Did we already put something in the dessert processor to start on more coconut milk? I don't... Okay, we definitely did not. We properly started on Fire much of anything. Is pretty good wing exercise. That is okay. I can't remember if I've made any main enemies or not. I am forgetting. Okay, I did. Cool. 
So we already checked on those guys. Let's get everything watered first. That's that's the first order of business. Taking care of taking care of farm chores before we go and do any story stuff. Okay, got everything properly watered. Um, oh, we do actually still have five days, so we might be able to... I'm gonna say we can probably um, grow those tomatoes. Get those planted then. We can also grow some more wheat, which is good, because we always need more flour. We're perpetually running out. Okay, I'm gonna store the rest of these. And then this all can get sold. Because we have so much of it. Oh wow, it's already noon, okay. Um, we will head deeper into the castle soon. Probably. I promise. <laughs> um, Y'all know me, we are, we are doing... We're doing side story stuff. Okay, we'll go meet Amo at the beach in Chitola. Bye bye. We could probably also progress Hayne's story while we're here, just to see what all we can do with it. Firstly, we gotta go say hi to our girly. The best siren. That is the wrong way. I know how to navigate the city, I promise. I've only been here like a million times. There she is. Hi, Emo. Hello, Purcellin. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry for calling you so suddenly. The bartender's letting me take the day off, and there's something I wanted to speak with you about. You're always working so hard. Thank you. So glad you didn't miss it. Hello, Lena. Good morning. Wonderful to see you. Yeah, you came here just in time. Whenever I look at the sea, I think about my home of being with my mother, playing with my friends. My carmentation instructor was kind, but her lessons were always so scary. I remember it all so clearly. I haven't forgotten a single one of them. They're all important memories. You're right. I'm worried. You know you can talk to me. I've been wondering, is there something I can do for the sirens for my hometown? Hang once told me we are the only ones left behind to remember those we lost that all we can do is keep them alive in our memory. But is that really enough? Nobody in Shatola wants to remember Lorelei. That much is to be expected. But Lorelei was the siren. 
When everyone speaks badly of them, it makes me feel so sad. But what can I do? You want to help the sirens? No matter how much I think about it, I am at a loss. I don't know what to do. Why not tell them the truth? That sounds... scary. I'm not sure I can tell them the truth. What if it doesn't change anything? What will they think of me? I can't tell you it'll all be okay. I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. It's fine. Please don't worry. This is something I need to think about for myself. Still, I appreciate your help. I feel better now that I've spoken to you. I'm glad we had this talk. I'm always here if you need. Thank you. I will do what I can for the siren's memory. Hey, we got closer with ammo. Okay. While we're in town, let's send Hain to therapy for a little bit. Hi, buddy. Are you ready to talk about your dead mentor yet? I take a quick drink of tea. One second. No, this won't do it all. She needs to be stronger. I know what I could do to improve it, but that'll take some time. Hmm? Is that Purcellin? You know you should announce yourself when you enter someone's home. You looked like you were concentrating. Good morning, Moth. Hello. Wonderful to see you. I see. Apologies. I was considering adding some improvements to Fiasolo, but I'm puzzling over what to do exactly. I took her out into the water a little while ago to look for a present for a pretty lady. But then I realized that the Fiasolo's hull isn't strong enough to dive to the levels I would like her to. You want to dive that far? That's right. You could say it's what I created the Fiasolo with the express purpose of achieving. Which I suppose means adding these reinforcements is essential. But essential or not, it won't be an easy feat. To be frank, doing it alone would require a great deal of time indeed. That's it. I don't suppose you'd be interested in helping me improve the Fiasolo. I'll pay you back in kind, of course. What do you say? Sure. Fantastic. I owe you one. Anyway, let's get started. I guess we'll need materials. No need to worry. We have everything we need here in the atelier. Okay, Purcellin. Let's get inventing. No, no. Atelier is not until Saturday. Your work with Hain goes smoothly. Shall we take a little break, Purcellin? How much more do we have left to do? It's coming along, but we're running out of the material we need to strengthen the armor. It's a crucial element, too. I thought I had more than enough here in the atelier. I'm surprised it's run out so quickly. I could use my connections to get in touch with a good merchant, I suppose. But no, I don't have the budget for that. This is my atelier, though, so it's up to me to provide the supplies somehow. I'll think of something. 
Well, I'm here to help. Oh, Purcellin. I'll go get the materials for you. Actually, thanks. You're right. You're here now, so I don't have to do it all by myself anymore, do I? I got so used to working on my own, that didn't even cross my mind. I'll take you up on the offer. It would be very helpful if you could get the materials we need. I'll write up a list of the materials we will need and send it to you later in a letter. I'm Kado. It's true. Welcome, Abso. Does that mean we're done for today? Thank you so much for that, Pats. Much appreciated. Yes, that's all for today. Sorry to leave you hanging. I'll get that list to you as soon as I can, so please be patient with me for a while. Thanks for your help today. Let's call it a day. See you soon, Purcellin. Oh, are you gonna monologue at your submarine? I don't have to work all on my own? Anyway, I better start writing that list for Purcellin. Oh, we got closer with Hain. I think we have one more side quest to pick up here. And then... Maybe we look at what other character stories we can continue today. I kind of want to level them all up fairly evenly. Now we kind of focused on a couple stories more than others, but... Hi, buddy. How's the lighthouse business? How are the repairs going? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. I still have a long way to go with the lighthouse. I don't know how my dad managed to keep this place going for so many years. No, forget what I just said. I'm done thinking about dad. I'll find a way to get this place up and running by myself. Hey, don't run yourself into the ground. Don't worry, I'm not. I just don't want to keep the town waiting any longer than they have to. We need to do something. What? What's gotten you so worried? A fishing boat has gone missing. What? Has the search started yet? Yes, all the fishermen are out in full force looking for him. Unfortunately, the fisherman on that boat is still new to these waters. He probably lost his way at sea and doesn't know his way back. We'll be able to help him as soon as I get the lighthouse back on. But the lighthouse... It'll be fixed soon. Just hold on a bit longer. Are you sure, Rog? No. I don't know why I said that. But I will figure something out. Excuse me? Yeah, you. I want to talk to you. Could you come outside, please? Go ahead, Purcellin. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine here. Sorry to interrupt you, but I wanted to ask if you could go and find Tolga for me. I thought he'd be in the tavern, but he wasn't there when I checked. Don't you think Rog can fix it in time? The truth is, I'm not sure Rog can fix it all, all on his own. I think we're going to need the lighthouse keeper. I think you're right. It's nothing against Rog, I just want to make sure we try every possible avenue we can to help out. Thanks. Well then, I'm going out to sea to join the search party. 
I'll leave Tolga to you. A light for the future. Tolga might be at the old lady's house in Arjean. Yep. Go and ask the old lady if she's heard anything from Tolga. Can do. We should have time to get over to Arjean. I certainly hope so, at any rate. It's only 2.40. That's, that's plenty of time, right? Yeah, we're good. How was everyone's weekend, chat? Hope y'all had some good ones. Oh, there's a bunch of other side quests here, too. Firstly, though. The Capital Inn Secret. Welcome to the Holly Inn. Are you stay? Ah, of course not. What is it this time? I want to ask you about a rumor. What rumor? You tell the innkeeper the rumor that you heard in town. Oh, that. That rumor's complete nonsense. The room that no one's allowed to stay in. We've just closed it for now because a few things inside need repairs. I've never heard any voices coming from in there. Some customer was probably dreaming and then went around telling people they heard voices. Still, it's not good for our reputation to have a rumor like that going around. Could I check the room just in case? Yeah, if you want. In fact, please do. People should stop talking about it once you prove that it's not true. Mina, could you come here for a second? Yes, sir. What is it? It looks like this person here has heard about the rumor. Oh, that? I've agreed to let her check the room, so I'd like you to take her, please. Just keep an eye on her so she doesn't break anything, okay? Really? Someone's actually gonna look into that ridiculous rumor? I did check, remember? A few times. And every time there was nothing to report. I guess my word doesn't count, though. Look, it's just to prove to everyone that there's nothing going on. Would you mind? Okay, I will. Oh, I almost forgot. This is Mina, our greeter. She's usually outside pulling the customers in. Nice to meet you. If you need anything, ask her. Thanks, Mina. I'll leave the rest with you. Yes, sir. Well then, I'll be on the second floor, so come and get me when you're ready to check the room. Oh boy. Surely only normal things. Alright, I'll take you to the room. Here you are. Take as much time as you want to check everything. I don't think you'll find anything out of the ordinary, though. Oh, if that was the case, though, this wouldn't be a side quest. A bookshelf. You look closely and see that there's a space where one book is missing. A plush bed is neatly made. A fireplace. A must-have in wintry Arjean. The firewood is still ever so slightly warm. How was it? Did anything catch your attention? Firewood was slightly warm. What? No way. It, uh, it can't be. You must have just imagined it. Now you've seen for yourself that the rumor was just made up. 
Uh, shall we stop here? I don't think there's any point in looking any longer. I also have to get back to work, so... Ooh, Archie, it sure is cold. Now to warm up in front of the fireplace. Huh? Why are you in here? Ah. Oh, were you just cleaning the room? My... my guy. Is that guest staying in here? Yes, I lied. Where's the real room? Well, it's... um... Fine, I can't keep the look I can't keep up the lie now. I'll take you to the room people are talking about. But it might shock you. Please try not to get hostile. What exactly is in there? That's definitely another omen. Looks like all the other rooms. Wait, why isn't he here? He's not here, where did he go? It's okay, just calm down for a second. I can't, he's all by himself. Is this a letter? He must have left it. The letter is written in unintelligible characters. This is his language. No doubt he wrote this. What does it say? I can't read it either, but I know for sure he wrote it. It looks like it's my time to shine. Aren't you meant to be on the farm? This is no time to be on a farm. I could send something fun happening over here instead. You know what, Azama? Fair. This is Cornelu writing. I could read this in my sleep. I see. I get it. You do? He says he's gone to a cave in the north of town. A cave in the north? That sounds like the Divine Seas Light Cave. Come on. I mean, we're not gonna go there quite yet. We got other stuff to do in town first. Take me to Braca. Hello, welcome to... Oh, you again. What is it this time? I'm here to meet Braca. He's not here right now. He said he had a job to do, but he should be back soon. Ah, speak of the devil. Hey, I don't remember telling you to be so casual with my info. Isn't this your friend? Can't be that big a deal. That is, unless you were on a job you wouldn't want friends knowing about. No, it's not that. I just don't like information being spread around behind my back. Okay, okay, I won't. I'm going downstairs. Come talk to me there if you need something. So, what is it? I wanted to hang out with you. Are you serious? Look, sorry, you should go home. I had a long day at work. I'm too tired to chat right now. What kind of job was it? I had to escort some traveling merchants. The pay was good, but we got attacked by a crap load of monsters. So you work as a bodyguard? Not exactly. I'm a mercenary. I just took that job because I was asked to. I get all kinds of requests. Killing monsters, settling feuds. I'll even go searching for treasure for the right price. That's what mercs do. So you do a bit of everything. 
Well, people employ mercenaries to do their dirty work for them. If anything, I think working a normal job would be harder. There's so many rules to follow. In that sense, I think it's easier being a mercenary. There's nothing you can't solve with brute force. Have you thought of doing anything else? No, I've never thought about that. As long as you've got the skill, you can earn money and even trust. Best job in the world, wouldn't you say? Besides, I didn't have any other options. I'm not looking for sympathy, just so you know. If I really hated this work, I would have quit it a long time ago. Is this what you plan on doing forever? Beats me. That's not for you to know anyhow. I've entertained you for long enough. You happy now? I told you I'm tired. Let me go to sleep. Good night. I'll come back another time. I might just talk to you if I'm bored enough. Wow. When will I quit being a mercenary? When I finally killed them, of course. Until then, I don't plan on stopping. Okay. Ominous. Okay, I think we also have the first... Shrike a story event up there. So we're going to do that. Well, ad starting in about a minute, chat. It's so pretty. Hi, girly. House Church. That is all I have to report. Thank you. Keep me posted. Yes, Sister Shrika. Who's this? Purcellin. Thank you for coming. Am I interrupting your work? Not at all. You came just as I was finishing. Cleaning up after what happened with Kierkegaard is taking much longer than anticipated. What with the Patriarch missing and the Flos and Dulgentia vanished. Not to mention this all happened while many were still unconscious. To put it lightly, the Order is in a state of mass disarray. You haven't told anyone, I take it? I have not. I do not wish to incite further chaos. Anyway, that's why I've been so busy. It would be nice to have this matter dealt with sooner rather than later. Which is why Sister Shriko should be ordained as the Order's new matriarch. Oh? Who's this? There of the Order's upper echelons, Will you give me a moment? Sister Shrika. Or perhaps Seraph Child would be more apt? Have you given our discussion any further consideration? I have. No one else within the Order has the want to become its next leader. I dare say there's a very real chance the Order may dissolve if things continue in this manner. I'm quite aware of that, but... Then why the delay? Everyone is requesting that you take up the mantle of Matriarch. Myself among them. But... As Matriarch, you will be able to answer the prayers of so many. Only you, the Seraph child of legend, could have such miraculous power. So, what say you? Move. 
Hi, Sides. Pardon. Sides. You? How dare you interrupt? Shrika, I have an urgent report about the case you mentioned. You interrupt our discussion for this? It's part of the job. Sorry. Besides, this is hardly the place to pressure her for a decision, is it? Or are you making demands of your desired matriarch? Demands? Such absurdity. Sister Shrika, please consider my proposal. Of course. You should really work on your manners. But I appreciate the save. Thank you. Was no big deal. Anything a delinquent priest like me can do to help. Well, thank you anyway. Now about the case. Did you learn anything? Is something else going on? It's none of your concern. No, I would like Purcellin to hear. The number of laymen complaining about ill health has been growing as of late. It's the place of the doctors to step in if there's an epidemic. So I asked them to run medical examinations to be sure. And unfortunately, it looks like your suspicions were right on the money. Results have shown not just high fever and physical exhaustion, but they've also discovered a strange phenomenon where patients' eyes are being stained blue. I thought as much. There's a disease like that? No, this isn't a disease. It's the work of monsters. What do you mean? There are creatures in particular known as... Niardine? They are usually seen wandering around the vicinity of water. However, they have a habit of contaminating the area where they live, creating water that is harmful to humans. Cites. The infected. Have they been performing rites at the temple? They have. It's as you suspected. Anyone who has performed rites within the past week has been infected. Do you use water in the rites? You're catching on. Those who partake in the rites drink the holy water to purify themselves. And the holy water is drawn from the Divine Seas Light Cave. Which leads me to believe the cause of the contamination is a Nyardine. How do you know so much about them? I fought one once before. Oops, the holy water is slimes! I dealt with a similar case while out on a missionary expedition. That makes sense. The water the Nyardine contaminates looks and smells almost no different than normal, which means those who drink it unawares are already being eaten away by the time that they realize. Left untreated, it could be fatal. Cites, may I ask you to make a formal report? We're temporarily halting the rites. If I must, I will inform the administrators. Which means there's no time to sit back and relax now. If the Nyardian makes its way to the capital, then we're all in trouble. Are you going to the cave? I wish I could, but I can't right now. A Nyardine isn't a monster to be taken lightly. It will require some preparation. Which I intend to do right away. I'm sorry we didn't have an opportunity to catch up as planned. We can chat once we beat the monster. You would help me? Very well. Honestly, I do need a partner for this. Very good. In that case, I will send a letter once preparations are complete. Please stand by until then.
got closer to Shrika. We have one more side quest to advance while we're here. So we're gonna go do that. Tolga, you jerk, come fix your stupid lighthouse. Stop moping. Oh, hello, dear. I remember you. What's the matter? I'm looking for Tolga. Oh, you just missed him. He left a little while ago. Why are you looking for him anyway? You explain the situation to the old lady. Oh, if I knew, I could have stopped him before he left. There was no way for you to know. He can't have gone too far. Have a look around Darjean. He's probably still here somewhere. I'll do what I can, too. Where'd our man go? Not far at all. Hey, fix your lighthouse. Thank goodness you're still in our gene. You again? What do you want now? Rog needs your help. Rog? You tell him about the missing boat. Per about ready to break his kneecaps. I really am. And that's why you came to get me? Rog is out there trying all by himself. Listen, don't make me repeat myself. I'm not going back to the lighthouse. Bro, fix your shit. Because you're scared? Yes. I'm scared that someone else might lose their life because of the light I shone for them. I couldn't live with that. I'm not strong like Rog. I can't just pick myself up that easily and face the lighthouse again. He's about to go through the same thing. Yeah, fair point, actually. Oh, do grow up, Tolga. I'll get his ass, old lady. Hell yeah. Oh, it's you. I had to come out and look for him. It was bothering me. I couldn't get through to you the last time, Tolga. But just let me say this. You are not alone. Your son is a good boy and he's there for you. If it's too scary to go back on your own, if the light inside of you has gone out, then move forward together. With your son by your side, your little light of bravery will surely light up again. I believe in you. But Dad, it's time to move on. Even the fisherman's family doesn't want to see the light go out. That's their beacon of hope. Come on, Dad, I'm right here with you. Let's give them back their beacon of hope.
Rog, I... Go join him. My light of bravery. I'm going back to Shatola. There he go. Well, I tried. I've done all I can. Can I leave the rest with you, dear? Sure. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Well, good luck. Alrighty. Back to Shatola, I guess. Hopefully he's actually fixed the, uh, the White House by now. Warp over to the entrance. I'll probably be a little late by the time we get there, but... We'll see. Okay, we still made good time. Fix your shit. Tolga, you're back. What's the situation with the missing boat? It still hasn't been found. Having searched all this time and still not found it, there's a high chance he might have already left Chatolan waters. We can't give up just yet. Once the lighthouse is lit, he'll surely find his way back. But Tolga, can you get the lighthouse back on? I'll do what I can. Hello, Reef Tyrant. Good morning and wonderful to see you. Rog is still inside working on it now. Please hurry. You, please come with me too stream is going well. We are doing some side quest stuff. Why won't the light come back on? I thought I put everything together perfectly. I've tried everything. I guess I really can't do this myself. You've done well making it this far. Sounds very fancy. We're, we're doing our best. Mostly, I'm just putting off going through the main story. Dad, you... You almost fixed it perfectly, but there are a few mistakes here and there. Like this monolite here, you're meant to split this part in two before you connect it. You're here for the tea? Well, we have peach tea this morning, so... Grab yourself a cup. I could say something about this bit here, too, but right now our main priority is to get the light back on. Rog, I'm gonna talk you through it. Just follow my instructions and the light should start working again. We can give Shatola back their beacon of hope, Rog. I'm going to need your help to do it. Let's do it. That's the lighthouse keeper for you. Nah. Even without me here, I'm sure Rog would have figured it out himself if he had more time. We just don't have that time right now, that's all. He's doing me proud, that son of mine. Dad, what should I do with this part? Hang on, I'm coming. Hey, sorry, but could you give us a hand? We could use all the help we can get. All right. That should do the trick. Will the light come back on now? Yes, it's working. 
We did it, Rog. Now, will you do the honors and shine Shatola's beacon of hope for us again? How many more times in this side quest are we going to get the phrase beacon of hope? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm glad we did this one at night time. I hope he'll find his way back. He'll be fine now, I'm sure of it. As long as the light keeps shining. The rest is up to the fishermen who are out searching for him. All we can do now is pray he's alright. Rog, Tolga. Did you find him? Yes, he's heading in this direction. He must have seen the lighthouse. Thank goodness. Thank goodness he's alright. Rog, I'd like to talk to you. Will you join me in the tavern? Okay, Dad. And could you come too, personally? Of course. Thank you. Let's head to the tavern, then. Okay, that should be the final step of this quest. And I think we're done with all of Shatola's stuff? Welcome back, Lena. Yep, that is a quest completion marker. Hello, friends. So, Dad, what did you want to tell me? I wanted to say I'm sorry, Rog. I was too consumed by my own guilt to listen to you before. I didn't do right by you as a father. No, you came just in time. If you hadn't shown up, I might have ended up living the same painful experience you did. Feeling the weight of knowing I couldn't save someone. Just the thought of it was really scary. I think I understand now the burden that you've been living with. Rog. I don't want you to have to live through something like that. What I said about you taking over the lighthouse... Oh, don't get me wrong, this experience hasn't put me off working the lighthouse. If anything, it's only motivated me more. It has? Yeah. Because I've realized how much pressure and responsibility you've had to take on doing it all by yourself. I really respect you, Dad. I looked up to you as a kid, and I still do now. You've always been there, lighting up the way for me. To me, you're my beacon of hope. Me. You don't have to do it by yourself anymore, Dad. I know I'm still young and not nearly as experienced as you. I'm only an apprentice. But I want to share some of that responsibility with you. Let's shine a light of hope together, the two of us. Well, with me as your teacher, you won't be able to call yourself an apprentice for long. Thank you, Dad. Let's call it a night. I hope you know what you've gotten yourself into. I'll make a lighthouse keep review before you know it. I can't wait. I'm sure you'll do great. Thanks. I won't stay an apprentice for long. Don't be a stranger, okay? Come by the lighthouse anytime. You might just get a chance to sit in on one of Rog's training sessions. No way, that's embarrassing. I hope you'll see me when I'm already a pro like Dad. 
Anyway, I'm really grateful to you. It's all thanks to you that Dad and I could make up and that he came back to the lighthouse. Thank you, Purcellin. I owe you thanks, too. I appreciate all you've done for us. Thank you. I'm glad you two are on good terms now. Yeah, me too. From now on, we're working together. We won't have any time for any more arguments. And I won't leave like that again. Not now that I've got my own light shining bright for me, too. Okay. We did it. We restored the lighthouse. And we got a seafood recipe. Awesome. I'm gonna go see if I can make that. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Getting a little late. Which means it is time to return home and then check our new recipe, then abuse the fishing mini game. Okay, seafood salad. <gasps> oh, we can make it right away! Beautiful! I think I will make two. Just for funsies. A staple salad dish in Shatola, named Shatola's Treasure Chest by a gourmet food critic for its vibrant color scheme. Well, that looks very tasty. Okay, I don't think we have any other fancy recipes down the pipe, but Give me the fish salad. It's very important to me, a cat. Oh, okay, we have one more quest in Shatola, apparently. We're getting there. I don't think we have anything that we need to put in. Oh, we've got some stuff to put in storage, for sure. You all go in storage. Now we'll go fish until 10 p.m. As is good and proper. Please. I don't have all night. Fish are just not wanting to bite today. Which is kind of rude. It's like they don't want to be sold. Okay, we can probably get one more. Sleepy fish. They're not supposed to sleep. I'm the one that feels very sleepy. Okay, we got our fish. Time to sell all our fish. And we gotta head to bed without Arya, because Arya is still kidnapped. And 
not going to think too heavily about that one. Hey, we made a decent profit. Oh, more letters. Oh god, we have so many letters. Light of Hope. About that missing ship. Turns out everyone was found safe and sound. Can you believe it? I've patched things up with my dad, too, and now it finally feels like we're making a start with the lighthouse. The two of us together. And someday, the lighthouse will be my responsibility. Until then, I'm reinvigorated and ready to keep that light of hope alive, and I hope you'll continue to support us. The list of materials I mentioned prior. I have completed the list of materials I require for your perusal. Please bring two silver ore from the silent cave to the atelier. I suppose I also owe you another apology for worrying you. I explained everything to the bartender and all is well. I will ensure it does not happen again. Correction. I know I used to tell you to talk to the innkeeper whenever you come by my hideout, but I'd like to amend that. You don't need to do that anymore. You can even come by if you don't have anything business related. Not that it seemed to stop you before, right? Anyway, I won't argue about it. Just keep it in mind, yeah? Monster subjugation. I apologize for keeping you waiting, but I have finished the necessary preparations required if we are to subdue the Niardine. I am afraid I must rely on your strength once more. We must cleanse the waters without delay for the sake of the people of Argeen. I will be waiting for you at the Divine Seas Light Cave. Brock is so edgy and scary. He's very Sundere. That mercenary is... Incredibly, incredibly soon. I want to say thank you. I would like to thank you for talking to me earlier, so would you meet me at the bar? I will treat you to a meal. Amo. That's nice of her. Also, add starting in about a minute. Chop. How are you guys doing on food? Okay. Should probably go and buy some more. Hi, Nuggy. Hello, Dolores. Oh yeah, you are almost out of food, Curly. We will go buy you some food, I promise. The veggies are simply bursting to be harvested. Oh, right, we need more, more eggs to make mayonnaise. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. Farm work is pretty good wing exercise. Okay, that can be sold. This all can get sold. So can this. I'm gonna store the flour, because we always need flour. Uh, and then let's go check on our other biomes. First up is Waterside. Oh, are watermelons finally ready to harvest? Hell yes. Hello, little crappies. I think we can probably make some stuff with a watermelon. I don't know for sure. I'm gonna go check the cave biome too. Anything, anything to harvest? Curry herbs. Oh, pepper. Hello, little crappies. You get stored. So much nectar cane in storage. Um, let's store one high quality nectar cane. 
Full of farm. Okay. You all are getting shipped. Um, you go into the spice maker. We're gonna go check our harvesting achievements and then uh, take a look at our recipes and see if we can make something new. Beautiful. Wonderful. Okay. We're getting there. Hello, can I cook anything with watermelon? I can. Super sweet Chitolan smoothie. Let's make it. An extremely sweet smoothie made with plenty of watermelon. Tastes just as good as it looks, and it looks pretty goddamn incredible. So, like, I want that. Right? It looks so good. Okay, do we have any other recipes that make use of um, watermelon? Wanty hands. Yup. Let's see. Peach juice, grape juice, and orange juice. Coffee and cocoa, which we do not have. Okay. Nothing with them. That looks so good. Alrighty. Next order of business. We are going to go into town. We're going to check out the blacksmith to see if we can get any weapon upgrades. I hope you bring and we are going to news. buy feed for our friends. Because they gotta eat. And then we can check in on Shatola and see if we can turn in any of that new food that we made. Which I think we'll be able to. Hello, Come Blacksmith. Yes, wonderful. Finally, I can level my shit up. Oh, wow, okay. Yes. Cheers. Wonderful. Still got 12k, so we'll have plenty for food. Yay, more damage. Yes, we love more damage. Okay. What do I want to get more feed for our friend? Um I do actually. I'm gonna buy six of each. Then we're gonna get that upgrade for Lapin. Gonna warp home, put all that feed in the feeders. Return home. Thank you. I know how to navigate menus, I promise. Where's our friend at? Okay, she's over there. Firstly. You all need feed. You have been feed.
Hello, friend. I have food for you. Yes. Your Totokaku's level has increased. It can now run even faster and travel in a shorter time. Beautiful. Speedy friend. They're, they are so shaped. I love their ears and their antlers. They're all very good. We're getting there. Ideal type of dog. Yes. A very, very shaped. Take it easy. Okay. Onward to Shatola. Firstly, we gotta check and see if we can turn in any recipes. Hi, I have food. <gasps> yes, I can turn in... Tom Yum Soup. And the smoothie. Mining Knowledge, Volume 1. Very curious as to what that does. Fisherman's sandwich. Thank you so much. If you know of any other dishes, please bring them by. Is Amo singing today? Oh, beautiful. What is mining knowledge? Oh, okay. Makes it easier to find rare items when mining. That makes sense. Hi, girly. I'm here for our dinner date. Ursuline, I've been waiting. I wanted to repay you for before. I've been looking forward to this. I'm glad. I have been too. I'll be taking a break soon. Let's eat something together then. You take a seat and listen to Amo sing. Her voice really is something. Everyone seems so happy today. Your voice was on point, as always. That's really nice of you to say, Persilin. You two having fun? Yes, thank you. Happy to hear it. Feel free to order whatever you like. We will. Then I'll leave you to it. I don't want to get in the way, so I'll just be over there. Excuse me, bartender. Amo, can I trouble you for a moment of your time? Didn't expect to see you here. You a friend of the bartender's? I don't know them either. Amo, Persilin, this is the lead representative of the Shatola Fishing Organization. Fishing Organization? You can think of them as the most important of the fishermen in town. Oh, wow! We got Fish Mafia here. There's no need to be so formal. In fact, I'm sorry for interrupting you during your time off. Oh, it's okay. Everything okay, Rep? You seem stiff. And it doesn't look like you're here for the usual drink and chat. Heh, <laughs> he's right. Truth is, there's something I'd like to ask of you, Amo. Serious business. Of me? We're organizing a vigil for those who passed on, and I was wondering if you might sing for us. A vigil? It's an event to mourn the damage and loss of life that was brought about by Lorelei. Fool. Oh, ha. Uh, hmm. Y'all got any, uh... Who's your plan B musician for that one? 
Really? As opposed to the usual uplifting and high-spirited festivals we usually hold. This will be a somber affair, to remember those no longer with us. Not unlike a funeral. So that's what you're planning. Emma would be a good fit. After hearing her sing, I couldn't agree more. I would like Amo, or rather, the diva of Shatola, to grace us with her voice at the vigil. Does this request seem reasonable? What will you do, Amo? I... I will sing. You will? For everyone who has suffered, yes. I'll do it. You will be doing the bereaved a great service. I'll be in touch again tomorrow with details on the event as well as a date. We will talk more then. Okay. Anyway, I have intruded enough. Thank you for your eager response, Amo. A vigil, huh? A festival to mourn those we lost to Lorelei. With all of that mess done and dusted, now is probably the best time for it. You sure you're up to it, Amo? Thank you. I'll be okay. I want to sing for the people of Shitola. Then I'll help you in any way I can. I'm here for moral support, too. Thank you, Parcelin. You're gonna get a lot busier from here. Oh, you're right. Still. That'll start tomorrow. Tonight, I'm here to enjoy a meal with Parcelin. Good point. In that case, I'll get to work on your orders. I'll be right back. Thank you. The Vigil. Alrighty. What else do we got? Still have that one quest over in Arjean. We have Shrika and Raka's stuff to do still. So for my part, I am uh, getting a little sleepy. So I think we're going to call it here today, and then um, obviously we'll be back with this next Tuesday, and then I think that we're going to try for uh, maybe some more main story progress at that point, um, to see if we can get a little further in the castle and a little a little closer to rescuing Arya. We'll see, we'll see how it all goes. Um, thank you all so, so much for stopping by. Unstoppable, if not for the tired sleepy. Truly, that's... That is my existence right now. Um, that sounds good. Take care. Thank you so much, Moth. Thank you, Lena. Thank you all for stopping by. Hello, Yggdrasil. You got us right at the very end. Um, but thank you for stopping by regardless. Uh, okay, let's see who is on. And... Streaming. If my Twitch stuff wants to load... Uh, da, 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 da. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like uh, Puro Tora is playing some of the RE4 remake. So we're going to go raid him and um, yeah. I, I recently acquired my copy of RE4 and, and played a little bit of it last night. It's been very, very fun. Um, I don't think I'm going to be streaming it. That's just something I kind of want to play for me. But um, 
it's been very good so far. So let's go watch uh, Pudo play it. And then um, we will have more Rune Factory on Thursday. And until I see y'all then, I hope you have a wonderful and relaxing rest of your evenings and days and whatever. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all then. Take care.